Hi there and uh, welcome to MS DOS Game Reviews where I play some really old MS DOS games to uh, get a feeling of what it was like, what computing was like back in the 1980s when computers were a brand new thing for people. And uh, today we are looking at Asterix and the Magic Carpet. It was released for DOS in 1987 and was released in France and Germany. So uh, it's a action adventure comics 246 kilobytes. It's amazing how much graphics they managed to fit into such a tiny little space. So here on uh, myabandonway.com you can see some uh, some screenshots and the the colors look pretty bad. <laughs> uh, of course, then uh, uh, just going down the comments here, there's a true EGA version in German and a true EGA version in French, but not really an uh, English version. And looking at the downloads, definitely French and German. So uh, I've downloaded the German one because my German is slightly, slightly stronger than my French. And uh, let's go take a look. Yeah, so uh, if you've been an Asterix and Oblix fan, you would have recognized that little bit of music there. And here you have the tiny village in Gaul. Now, as you can see, I've got more colors on my screen. I've, I've managed to map the EGA version. And uh, I've, I've had a go at it yesterday. And I had problems recording, so uh, today I, I know a little bit about what's going to happen. So you just have to wait with the screen and then of course in German ein einen schönen Sommertag öffnen sich uns das erste Fenster für ein neues Abenteuer im Dorf von Asterix so it's a new window for adventure in the town of Asterix and my Germans are a little bit rusty which is a uh, <clears throat> Terrible for somebody coming from Namibia. But anyways, here we have Asterix and Obelix. And uh, if, you, if you've if you been a fan of the cartoons... Ah, okay, so you can move the cursor around and enter is your action button. So you could click, say, on Get a Fix and press Enter. And then it gives you options. You can say Obelix is Sveklos Mihna. Ooh. Okay, so the first one, I'm, I'm a little bit uncertain what that means. Shrek lost me. Uh, clean drinking. No idea. So in the second option, it says it's rare that True Buddy is not here. So we can press 2. And our Majestic's Fair with Sina Riederfort. Uh, the rumor had an unsere Stadt and shoot an Asher gelegt. Uh, I, I don't know. So he's talking about Julius Caesar. That's uh, that's gone on to a city. So you guys get a good idea of, of what this this game is like. It's little cartoons uh, and it carries on. So it says. He, right now, True Buddy is coming, and he is, uh, he caused a natural, like a, a cloud burst on a, on a town somewhere. So apparently this guy's singing is so bad, he uh, changes the weather. <coughs> And 
on the next scene. Here we go, here we go. This is, uh, he, he made this guy crash that was flying past on a carpet. Yeah, so. I, I like a little bit of a animation in there, so you could talk to this guy, and uh, he says he's uh, Erinja the Fakir, and he's been flying here, and then uh, uh, there was a un unhuman lamb, uh, it's like a something horrible brought him down. That's probably this uh, bard singing. And then he comes from a far country. Okay, so <clears throat> this this carry, carries on. Uh, he's just talking about this little princess. And uh, yeah. Okay, I, I might miss some parts of the story. But uh, as as it happens... The, the game itself, you don't have that many options and uh, you, you just read the story and watch the comics like like you'd normally watch comics, yeah? A little bit of a interactive thing. It's actually quite a quite a nice idea and it's a pity this this game format didn't catch on, you know, people would uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe older people would love to read comics and uh, Let's let's talk. Let's let Gavix have a say. And he says, "Take this flesh of Sabertrunk." Ah, his uh, Sabertrunk is his superpower. Sabertrunk. Uh, the, the, the 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 stuff that they normally drink. Asterix and Obelix drink. And then uh, number two is like Auf Wiedersehen, meine Freunde. Ich bleibe hier. So he says he's staying. So number one. And then the chief speaking, he says, Auf Wiedersehen, meine Freunde, und ich hoffe. Oh, he's gone. Right, so, there they are on the magic carpet. And you can have different people talk. And he says, Asterix, your friend is heavy. Uh, we should have left him at home. <laughs> and then like to this uh, last uns die Landschaft ansehen. So let's go take a look at the uh, landscape. And uh, yeah, little dogmatics just as well. Wow. So nice. And we're not letting that bard speak because uh, he, uh, whenever he sings, there's a. Uh, weather storms and it makes this thing crash okay so uh, uh, Asterix said he saw something in the back let's go back and they this guy says no there's no time man okay so yeah so you Click a few times and then he lands in this thing, and uh, it's this game is not just a comic. There's actually some some gaming elements to it as well. So uh, that's the other part I wanted to show you. I haven't finished the game, but uh, this this is a this is kind of nice part of the game. So again, when there's a picture, you just have to wait. There's something happening in the background. I'm going to hit spacebar. Unser friend landed from an Ammon. Okay, so they landed at a Roman fortification. And... Uh, so Obelix has options. He says, uh, Eine kleine Schlacht. Like a, like a hunt. And then this also uh, is wanting to hunt uh, wild boar. So let's do one. Ein extrem gewaltig scene die form. Okay, so it says it's an extremely violent scene on the inside, and uh, here we go. Now this is this is the other part of the game. 
tell you, you are controlling Asterix and you have to get all the coins and avoid the Romans. So, as you can see, there's also Obelix and he just moves. It's, it's, it's like a force of nature, this guy. Now, what can happen is if you, uh, if you get this guy to follow you, uh, if he touches Obelix, he dies. So that gives you a little bit more force, and uh, that's the idea of the game. You. You can lead the Romans to Obelix and uh, you can collect all their money. So, you know, in modern, modern uh, ways of looking at this, it's a, uh, it's kind of, kind of bad, you know, you're just dropping in on these people, destroying their place and stealing their money but yeah you do this twice the the map looks the same of course no obelix this time doing his duties there. <sighs> yeah, it's funny. In the comics, Asterix are having just as much fun beating up the Romans. But uh, on... So, so after this <coughs> horrible episode, um... Oh, man, there's some words I don't understand. This game would be great to learn Russians. So, there you go, flying again. And then, of course, there's, there's various other scenes. I'm, I'm not going to carry on too much and, and uh, uh, spoil it for somebody. Uh, I think this is going to be it for the this introduction to Asterix and Obelix and the Magic Carpet. Uh, I hope you guys like this little video and... Uh, are looking forward to the next one so uh, if you do subscribe you get a notification if you don't well that's up to you i'm not gonna i'm not gonna beg in any case i hope you guys have a fantastic day and goodbye